Welcome today to our coaching session and the focus this morning is on stick stopping. What I mean by stick stopping is the ball is being pushed out from the baseline and trapped at the top of the circle for the drag flicker to come in and deliver towards goal. Just like to first introduce you to Nick uh, on the right here and Tom on the left and with their help we're going to be looking at the three fundamentals. Number one will be the, the hand grip on the stick in the collection of the ball. The second one will be trapping of the ball and being released for the flicker and the mobility which is probably very important to be able to adjust to the line if it's incorrectly pushed out. Tom, what we're looking at here is preparation and mobility is a key part, being able to adjust if the ball is pushed out incorrectly and adjusting to the line. The position that Tom is in here is too low, he's unable to make an adjustment when the ball's pushed out incorrectly. I'm just going to ask Tom to move his right foot and see whether he can make an adjustment. Very difficult to make that adjustment. Uh, Tom being so low there uh, impacted on Nick coming forward and obviously the breakdown of the corner unable to trap and collect or get shot on goal. Okay, Tom, what we're looking at here is finding a position that you feel more comfortable in, being a little bit higher, and being able to activate your feet to be able to uh, uh, move to the line of the ball more appropriately. Okay, we see Tom here in a much higher position. He's loaded here nicely, nicely balanced, waiting for the ball and being able to adjust to the line. Excellent. Tom's mobility allows Mick, the drag flicker, to collect the ball even though the ball was pushed incorrectly. The second part, what makes a good trap, is the angle of the stick. Soft hands being able to cushion the ball. The angle of the stick is this area here, it's hitting here and bouncing away. And if the angle of the stick is this way, it will deflect off, unable to trap the ball. If you're aggressive, you're going to make contact and knock the ball away. The importance of balance is one thing, but soft hand as well, being able to just cushion the ball and the angle of the stick to wedge it. To get this right, Tom needs to be more softer with his collection of the ball. Softer hands. Ideal receive, excellent, right in the right position, shot on goal. Come, come to the point which is hand grips, and it's a very personal approach, but I'm just going to demonstrate to you some of the variables. Nick, the grip of the stick in this particular um, stick save is the knuckles are facing up. That would be one. Movement of the stick with two hands facing upwards, the knuckles facing upward, and the ball being received in the hook area. A lower angle of the stick, would be in this position, still knuckles facing upwards and the ball being collected in this area here. The other adjustment would be turning this hand underneath so the thumb is pointing up and is closed in that position. The fourth one would be slightly moving your finger along that area there for a personal feel again to be able to control the ball here and wedging it. What is very important Nick is a personal feel. There's no right and wrong way. It's about working through those and identifying what suits you to perfect the skill. Whilst Nick is practicing there, I just sort of like to highlight what the directive is from the national program within Australia at the moment. And the preferred option is where the left hand is here and the finger slightly at the back of the stick and cushioning the ball in this area of the stick. The angle that we've talked about, the knuckles on the right hand are facing up and that's important to be able to control the ball. Okay, Nick, you went through a number of executions there. Which one was your preference and most comfortable for you? I think for me it was probably the knuckles out with the hands halfway up the stick. It seemed to give the most amount of feel for me. Wrapping up our segment today, Tom, what are the three points? And mobility. Soft hands. And hand positioning. And remember, when it comes to hand positioning, it's all about personal preference.